Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, I hope you are well. So today I wanted to do something a bit different to my other videos. So during this lockdown period I have been doing a few different bits and bobs to try and keep myself busy and to try and be a bit more creative than usual. I love doing creative things, um, I'm just not as good as I'd like to be at a lot of it. So I thought I'd just show you a few different ideas of stuff that you could do while you're in your house um, to keep busy during this time. As I say, these are just a few different things that I enjoy doing that I thought I'd just put out there just in case anyone else gets a bit of inspiration from them. Here are a few things that you can do at home to stay creative. So the first thing that I have started doing at home is I paint my numbers. I saw one of these, well I saw a few of these on Amazon after seeing them on different people's stories and I just thought it was great because I've been trying to be creative in some other ways and it wasn't really going very well to be honest. I'm not a very good artist, I just kind of give it a good shot. So I got a paint my numbers and it just means that you can do paintings and you can create some really nice work but you're not having to try and draw it yourself. The second thing that I've been doing while in lockdown is I've refound etch art. I don't know if many people know what that is, but I feel like it's been going around Instagram a little bit more recently. But it's been a lot of fun, it's really therapeutic I think, and it's really easy when you get the little books to just take outside with you if you want to, or things like that. Another thing that I have been doing is attempting painting slash drawing. Now, as I said before, I love doing creative things, but I am not the best artist. So I was using Pinterest, and I think a great way to get a start with doing art is looking on Pinterest, getting inspired, and even if you want to, just start by copying stuff, um, just for yourself, obviously you can't then publish it as being your own work, um, but copying stuff and trying it out and seeing how you get on. And then gradually, eventually, you will start to be able to create things yourself. Something else that I've been doing that I know is not to everyone's taste, but actually a lot of people, especially I think in the theatre world, do quite enjoy it as well, is writing. I think sometimes what you just have to do is go and find inspiration and just write, just see what happens, don't overthink it. I think a great way again to start is Pinterest, so I've got a load of Pinterest boards so if you're interested in seeing those I will link my Pinterest down below, but I think a great way to start is looking at the writing prompts on Pinterest and just giving it a go, seeing what inspiration you get from those. Following on from that I think that reading is always a great way to go. Um, I am a very picky reader. Uh, <laughs> I have to have books that I get gripped into straight away, but Jane Corey, or Jane Corey, I'm really not sure how to say her surname, is an incredible writer. Um, I did suggest one of her books to one of my friends and she loved it, so I think if you are struggling for a book to read but you know that you get bored quite easily, her books are incredible because they are just so gripping and you just can't put it down. Short chapters, brilliant. Something else that I've been doing is trying a bit of sewing. Now I used to sew in bits and bobs but I thought recently I tried a different project that I had been thinking about for ages and I've never had the time to. So um, as you will see in the video that I put over the top of this, I tried making a cushion cover out of a pillow. Now granted it is not great, like it is not incredible, but to use in my own home I am pretty proud of it. It is still attached, it has stayed for the majority of this lockdown, I think I did that quite in the beginning, and I just think it's a great way to use up your old t-shirts, because obviously a lot of people grow up t-shirts, but if it's something with a quote on it that you really like, or if it's something with a band, um, or movie, something along those lines, it's a great way to keep that t-shirt still in your room but without having to wear it. Something else that I have been doing um, that isn't so creative but it is something else that has been really fun for me is I've been trying to learn a different language so I have been trying to learn Spanish through the Duolingo app and do you know what I'm loving it. It's um, It just feels like I'm doing something that's actually quite useful in life so if I ever want to apply for a job abroad I'll be able to say that I have two languages um, and I've, I've come quite far while I've been in lockdown. Another thing that I tried was origami. Now, I'm going to be honest, um, origami is supposedly meant to be relaxing. For me, not so much. I got seriously stressed out by origami because I just get very stressed if I can't do something straight away, which I know is not the best way to go, but it happens. Um, I did manage to make a few things, but I think origami is definitely a good thing to try out because it's simple 
all you need is paper and that's it so anyone can do it you can find guides online um, and it's great fun it was stressful but it was great fun and it was very rewarding once I'd managed to finish them I think always a great thing to do as well while you're in this situation is exercise and stretching. It just makes you feel better for the day, gets some endorphins pumping, but obviously that's not everyone's thing. So I just shoved that in there as a little thing that I've been doing, but I know that's not for everyone. So the last thing I'm gonna mention in this video is adult coloring books. I think these are great. I do. Um, I have spent hours upon end in the garden just colouring in with my sharpies, I prefer sharpies to colouring pencils, that's just a personal preference, but I have spent ages in the garden just doing those when it's been like sunny and the sun's been shining because you don't need anything other than the book and the pencils and you can get them for a decent price. I think I've got, I don't know where mine were from, but there's some on Amazon, uh, the works do some really cheap ones that are really good. And yeah, I just think they're really therapeutic and really fun to do. I really hope you enjoyed that quick fire video. I literally just wanted to give you guys a few bits of inspiration because I know that I was definitely looking for some at the beginning of lockdown before I kind of figured out gradually some different bits and bobs to do. If you liked this video, um, please feel free to subscribe. If you don't want to, don't worry, but if you do, then that's grand. Um, and I will see you in whatever the next video is.